Hey everyone, this is Dr. Tim Laskis. Thank you for joining me. And I'm going to be hosting a series of short videos uh, around how to overcome panic, fear, anxiety, especially as it relates to this coronavirus outbreak. And you can use this with anything that makes you anxious, upset, depressed, whatever, you name it, whether it's public speaking, whether it's your boss, your children, uh, in-laws, anything like that. This is a skill that's going to help you along the way. Uh, again, I'm going to have about 30 really short videos that are going to help you. Um, we're going to focus on how to be successful in your life using this breath. So a success with breath uh, video series. Um, I'm going to go through everything from what is going on in your body when you become stressed and what that looks like. Um, how to in control your mind and your thoughts when it comes to uh, these, these significant events such as the coronavirus and how that has an impact on you. We're going to look at uh, how the, the breathing uh, skill that I'm going to teach you impacts you, um, and walk you through all of these different ways of using it. And I'm so excited because Fitbit has uh, a variety of watches out that will monitor your heart rate. And that's so exciting because when you utilize these breathing techniques, you can see the benefit almost instantaneously. instantaneously. Usually it takes a couple of seconds and you'll see your heart rate tend to drop because this breathing technique that I'm going to share with you actually works. It's backed by research and that's very, very exciting. And we're going to go through that. Um, and we're just going to, we're going to keep rolling. And again, it's going to be about 30 videos that's going to help you. So uh, first, Today, let's just talk a little bit about the coronavirus and why everyone is panicking. Well, the reason is because it's new, it's unknown, it's something that many of us just haven't dealt with. <laughs> In fact, the world hasn't dealt with. And so as a result, we tend to catastrophize, we tend to fill in the blanks with these negative thoughts, and we see news outlets talk about death rates, and we're like, oh no, I'm next, and they talk about fevers and cough, and you're like, oh, I'm feeling warm. <laughs> I'm, I'm coughing. I must have the coronavirus. And so when we have this, and especially we think about some uh, even more negative thoughts of this is going to kill me. It's going to kill my family, my friends. This is going to shut down everything. And financially, I'm going to be in ruins. And so when you have that negative uh, thought process, that tends to lead to negative feelings. So if I'm thinking that, uh-oh, this is doom and gloom, this is going to wipe out me, my family, the earth, uh, well, you're not going to feel very happy. You're going to feel very sad, very anxious, withdrawn. And as a result, your behaviors are going to change. And you're probably going to be one of these people who run to the grocery store and buy up all the toilet paper. But that makes no sense. It's an irrational behavior because the coronavirus has nothing to do with going to the bathroom. It's respiratory. It has to do with your lungs and running a fever. And again, I'm not a physician, but I am a licensed clinical psychologist. So I'm here to talk about the mental aspect of, kind of stress and, and stress of the coronavirus. So uh, what I would recommend is limit your exposure to the news media to about 30 minutes a day. If you're on your iPhone, your smartphone, and you're looking in your Facebook app, or you're just looking at your news feed, only spend about 30 minutes focusing on information about the coronavirus. Anything more than that is just overkill. It just feeds into the kind of hysteria that's going on. You can get some facts and some information from experts. Stay away from kind of the fake news stuff and, and then just turn it off and that's it or look over it. Then that way that's going to help you less, be less obsessive about it. Think more positively. Think, okay, yeah, I don't know a lot about this. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it's going to be okay. Things are going to work out. Um, you know, the research and people that are coming out, the experts are saying that really it's a virus that's impacting uh, as far as death rates, high death rates, or people over 80 with compromised immune systems. So if you're, you know, less in age, and I think even, you know, under 50, there's a very, very small percentage of uh, people who are significantly impacted um, from, from the coronavirus when it comes to actually death rates. So, you know, you can think more positive that, hey, you know, I'm going to be okay. My family's going to be fine. As a result, you're going to feel a little bit better. You're going to feel less stressed, less, less anxious, and your behaviors are going to be more rational. You're going to go on with your daily routine. Um, you're not going to go out and buy loads of toilet paper, a truckload of toilet paper, <laughs> when it doesn't make any sense because that's not going to help you. 
So those are some tips when it comes to how to uh, think about the coronavirus in, in order to re reduce stress. But the remainder of the videos are going to talk about this deep belly breathing, abdominal breathing that has been shown to reduce anxiety and fear and panic and depression and help people feel much better. We're going to go through that and, and how you can use this with your Fitbit watch or any of the watches out there that monitor your heart rate. Fitbit also has a new app that uh, utilizes uh, your oxygen level within your, your blood. And that's a cool thing. We, we may also get into that. And so this is going to be, again, about 30 videos, very, very short, that's going to help you during this entire thing that we're going through uh, together in the world. And so we're going to get through this. Uh, think more positive. You're going to feel a little bit better. And you're going to go out and you're just going to behave in, in a way that was more normal and, and uh, just go out, get some exercise, and you're going you're gonna to get through this. We're all going to get through this. Join me again in future videos where I give you these specific strategies of how to use, utilize your breath to decrease anxiety, panic, and any mental or physical conditions that you already have going on. It can also help you feel better. So I look forward to uh, helping you in these future videos. See you soon.